Uh, our phase three study was based on our understanding of uh, redox potential in sickle red blood cells. In the 80s, uh, scientists have uh, realized that uh, oxidation plays a major part in pathophysiology of sickle cell disease. So my mentor, Dr. Zeres, tried to reduce uh, this uh, oxidation damage to red blood cells. In doing so, he looked at this particular molecule called NAD, because NAD is the antioxidant for hemoglobin, which is uh, the main part of a sickle cell disease. Um, so then uh, Dr. Zeres and I looked into metabolism of NAD and uh, in our studies we realized that uh, supplementation with the precursor of NAD, which is called L-glutamine, is going to uh, reduce this oxidation stress. And we hypothesized that uh, reducing oxidation stress is going to reduce the damage to red blood cells and eventually patients will have a better clinical status. So we moved on to phase one and phase two clinical trial which uh, have shown uh, basically confirmatory data of our hypothesis and we just completed the phase three clinical trial. Phase three clinical trial, uh, for this uh, we enrolled 230 patients from the sites in the United States and involved uh, 31 major uh, sites. Most of them are university and medical centers. Uh, and uh, we uh, randomized the patients into uh, L-glutamine or placebo, and we monitored them for 48 weeks. The patients uh, were diagnosed with sickle cell disease or sickle beta-0 thalassemia, and the patients were five years and older. The results were really fascinating for us. Although we had expected uh, this to improve uh, condition of sickle cell disease, uh, we actually got the result that was uh, better than we had expected we have seen the significant reduction in the frequency of sickle cell painful crisis by 25%, decrease in the frequency of hospitalization by 33%, decrease in duration of hospitalization by 41%, and decrease in the one of the most uh, devastating complications called acute chest syndrome by uh, 58%. So in this, uh, what we saw was uh, what we call a cascading changes. If you understand, yes, even if you're on L-glutamine, you may have crisis, although there is a chan less chance of having crisis because there's 25% reaction. But even if you had to have crisis, uh, there is less chance of uh, being hospitalized. And if you had to be hospitalized, uh, there is a chance that you're going to stay there for shorter duration. And again, if they have to be hospitalized, there's less chance of going to ICU due to acute chest syndrome. So overall, uh, what we saw was that uh, evidence that uh, it's not just reducing the frequency of crisis, but crisis itself is much milder.